Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah, I freaking love some Transformers. Man, I hope I like this guy. Today I'll be taking a look at Dr. Wu. Woody Wu Wu Wu. Wu. Uh, this is Movie Collector. This is going to be MC-02 Microscope. Also known as uh, Scapel, uh, he's from Revenge of the Fallen. I think they call him the Doctor too or whatever. We must have the brain. You know, all that stuff. Sorry, that was terrible. But there you go. Nicely done. Like the little 3D art thing or whatever. Really nicely done. Uh, once again, Dr. Wu and designed by Mechanic Studios. And there he is on the back. Awesome, awesome as always. Man, let's just get right to, let's just get right to the review so I won't stutter anymore. And yeah. Well, all right, folks, there he is in his alt mode, the microscope mode, I guess. Only thing he comes with is this little card. The other one did come with, uh, Mozart came with this too. Nicely done. A little thin, but it's got some, like a rough edge, you know, edge to it and everything. Or feel to it. You got microscope on the back there, on the front, on the back. Got some stats. Like I said, it's in Chinese like the last time. Can't read that, but there you go. If you can, awesome, awesome. So that's all he comes with. You know, he doesn't come with any weapons or anything like that. So there you go. All right, let's take a quick look at this little fella in his little microscope mode, I guess. It's pretty cool. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's a little tiny microscope. So he can swivel like this right here. It can go up and down. His little, his eyes, little buggy eyes right there. Uh, these things can go up if you want to or side out like that if you want to. And this does twist right here as well. And that's about it. And he's got some nice uh, translucent orange, and he got some red eyes in there. He got some silver paint right there. And this thing is uh, the pulse right here, the post, whatever it is, it's painted silver. And that's about it on paint wise so far. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's just a little microscope, I guess. Oh, and he's got his little painters right here. So this can, like I said, can go up and down, and you know it's got a good range. You can go up and down like that. So, you know, pretty cool. If you want to put something right here, if he wants to look, we should kind of look down a little more. But there you go. But there's a little microscope, I guess, right there. So there you go. That is microscope. I hit the camera. Sorry about that. There he is in his alt mode, microscope mode. Yay. All right, and here they are next to, this is their other Dr. Wu thing. This is a uh, Mozart, or a uh, Mohawk. And then this is uh, RC from the uh, Studio Series, series and everything. So there you go. He's a little tiny little thing, but he's almost big as a motorcycle in Legend scale. I wonder if you even consider this Legends. I don't know. It's really small, but there you go. Scale. And Carpagonics, a AAA battery, and some crappy toilet paper. More scale. Well, all right, folks, let's see if we can transform this little fella. Yay. <laughs> all right, let's go. So, take this part right here. You're going to fold it in like that. It's going to be his tail in like that. You want to open up this right here. Now you want to move this around like that. And you want to twist that around. A little 180 action going on there. Put these out. Get his little painters out if you want to. You got this, his face, and his little, little horns, whatever you want to call them. Then you're going to untie these little legs right here. And you're going to flip them all out. And one more time over here. Like I said that slides right there. That's going to be his little tail, I guess, or a little butt. And there you go, folks. That's how you transform. Dr. Wu microscope and everything. So let me clean it up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, here he is. Awesome. He looks, he's a little spider, little something, whatever, little insect, you know, Michael Bay. Yeah, I love Michael Bay. Turn around. Not much to him. He's a little fella. There's his head sculpt. Once again, same thing. You saw that in microscope mode. It's got these little horn things. They do go back and forth. If you want to? Got some nice orange eyes or orange lens. And you got the red eyes and you got the silver paint right there. 
nicely done. Now these little things right here, you can go have them out like that. We're going to have them in like that. Now articulation wise, so you got a swivel right here, up and down right here, and then back and forth up like that. And then if you move the little hands down, he can go like that too. So a lot of hip, you know, a lot of movement, you know, a lot of articulation right there for the head. Now the little pinchers, whatever, they can go up and down like that. And then they can go in and out right there. No paint, just uh, gray plastic and some uh, gun metal right there. So silver paint. You've already seen all the paint on this thing, so it's not very much. All right. He's got six legs. Okay. So you can go a little bit. It's on a ball. Yeah, they're on a ball joint. So you can get a little bit right there. You get a bend right here. Not much up, but it can go all the way down like that. So there's two two points right there and right there and right there is a third golly i can't count jeebus but like i said it got all the way around there he does have a swivel these things go out like that like that so nicely articulated for these little things and you got six of them and like i said they go up and down all the way around and the butt thing i guess you can move that up and down a little bit if you want to it's got some little spikes right there everything so there you go so there is microscope for articulation and sculpt work not much to them it's got some spikes on the little legs as well so there you go and he can stand up on his own pretty good so yeah very nice all right there you go and there he is next to the dr Wu mozart also known as mohawk and yep about the you know there you go <laughs> scale <laughs> and there he is next to sam he must have the brain. What, what do we mean, brain? What's he mean? Ah. Stab, 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 stab. Put him on the back. Yeah. There you go. You can have a little scene with the Sam. And real quick, there he is next to the studio series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. So, there you go. Looks pretty neato. And there he is next to the world's smallest Transformer Optimus Prime. And then you got New Age Bumblebee. Scale. And Crapagonics, a AAA battery, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for even more scale. And there he is next to the Revenge of the Falling uh, Scabble, the, you know, the official. There they are. Big brother. Neato. Well, all right, folks, let's talk about some Dr. Wu Microscope, also known as Scapple from Revenge of the Fallen. I like him. He's pretty cool. Now, the alt mode is really boring. It's a microscope. Not a lot you can do with it, but it's fine you know what it's for you know it's really tiny so i like that so transformation real easy shouldn't be that hard to figure out uh the uh, the bot mode i really like i like the spider mode whatever it's got some really good articulation for the head and for the legs so you can get them some really you know decent poses i like you know taking pictures of them was pretty fun and everything so you know overall the sculpt is really nice and everything you know it's $25, not going to break the bank. Um, they are considered, I guess, legend scales, but they're really small. They're kind of around new age and everything, but a little bigger than the new age, but around that area. So really fun. I think I like Mozart better. I think it's more fun to play with and everything to mess around with, but this one's also fun as well. I highly recommend them. I think they're both really neat, and I really highly recommend us getting on the floor, do some floor time. Won't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, I really like both of these. I mean, I like him and Mozart, you know. Like I said, the almost kind of boring, you know, it's a microscope and everything. But um, I'd like to see some more stuff from Dr. Wu, what they do with this. It'd be pretty cool if they do like the Insecticon from, um, you know, from Rivage of the Fallen. You know, when it flies into the wall and uh, Sam, you know, grabs it and tears his head off. I wonder, I wonder if he could do that. Because I, I wonder what they're going to do, you know, if he's going to do any more of these. Uh, so it'd be pretty cool to see what they're going to, uh, him and Mechanic Toys, what they're going to do with all these little things. So it'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I wonder who else if they're going to go, you know, take a stab at some other little ones. But I think the Insecticon, I think that'd be a pretty cool one to uh, kind of tackle and everything. So, but yeah, really neat. Like I said, they're $25. You know, not really going to break the bank and really small, you know, so if you like that kind of scale. But it's pretty cool. You can set up some little scenes and everything from the movies and all that stuff. He looks like an insect from the Bayverse. Look at the game, Bayverse. Yeah, look at all the Constructicons. Y'all are Bayverse. Yeah. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up, chicken? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just tired. I was taking a nap. My bad. It's okay. We all need nap times. I miss nap times. Do y'all miss nap times? Man, the older you get, man, mm, you just love those naps. So yeah, that was my review over the uh, Dr. Wu microscope. 
Go hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. Is anybody in on these little things? And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro and good night, folks. He's just a Spider-Man. Spider-Man.